It's that time of the year again, the time when the student community comes out, fills the stands, and cheers on their former students. The 35th annual bed races is a long-standing tradition here at UTA, and as you can see from the massive turnout tonight, we're all about to see a rolling good time. Hosted by Excel Campus Activities, this race requires participants to be comprised of a four-member team to compete. The goal? To be the fastest team and to beat your opponent down the field. This race is a way to promote student involvement on campus as well as to invoke trust and team building exercises to those on the field. The most rewarding thing for these racers, however, is the amount of camaraderie on the field and on the sidelines from their fellow students. But it's not just the students who get caught up in the fun. It's just fabulous to see all the students get together, be in costumes, form little groups and race against each other and have a lot of fun. A little uh, scary at times when the beds went a little awry. <laughs> and you felt the bed was coming straight at you, but otherwise it was a lot of fun. Excel works hard every year to bring this event to life and to make it a smash success. It's just the racing itself. It's a lot of fun, it's kind of quirky. I think that people just racing in beds is like literally the best idea ever, so that's really the best part about it. The bed races aren't the only thing that keeps the students active. There are also a variety of fun athletic activities that the college crowd can participate in. From balancing and battling your best friend, to racing an opponent through an inflatable obstacle course. There's plenty of fun to be had by everyone. One of the other big traditions here at UTA is the end of the night costume contest. Each team that races dresses in costume, and since Halloween is just around the corner, it's always fun to see what each team comes up with. But sometimes even the audience members get into the Halloween spirit. And then of course, there's always the after party. And we are UTA. Thomas Hose and Landon Hearn, UTA News.